Good day, everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Science 7, which is all about sound waves. This will be the third quarter topic and week 4. This topic is a milk-based. Sound is a form of energy produced by vibrating objects. These vibrations create sound waves which move through a medium before reaching our ears. Since it is a wave, we can relate its properties to the characteristics of sound wave. The basic properties of sound include pitch, loudness, and timbre. One of the properties of sound is the pitch. The highness or lowness of sound is known as a pitch or a musical note. A higher frequency sound has a higher pitch and a lower frequency sound has a lower pitch. The figure below shows that a higher frequency wave has a lot of vibrations per second and a low frequency wave has few vibrations per second. The human ear can only sense within the frequency range of 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Vibrational frequencies beyond 20,000 Hz is called ultrasonic frequencies, while extremely low frequencies are known as infrasonic frequencies. On the other hand, animals like dogs can hear sounds as much as 50,000 Hz, while bats can detect as high as 100,000 Hz. Another property of sound is the loudness. The amplitude of a sound wave determines its loudness or volume. The figure below shows that a high amplitude sound means louder sound and a low amplitude sound means softer sound. The vibration of the source sets the amplitude of a wave. More energetic vibration correspond to larger amplitude. Loudness is also determined by the sensitivity of ear. It is subjective, but it's still related to the intensity of sound. In fact, despite the subjective variations, loudness varies nearly with intensity. Intensity is one indicator of amplitude. It refers to the amount of energy. The following are the sound levels of different sound sources. The unit of intensity level for sound is the decibel, which was named after Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone. On the decibel scale, an increase of 1 decibel means that the sound intensity is increased by a factor of 10. A logarithmic scale is used to describe sound intensity, which roughly corresponds to loudness. Another property of sound is the timbre. Timbre is the quality of musical sound which is used for differentiating two sounds with the same frequency. Every sound that we hear is dependent on its source. Sound timbre is defined by the characteristic sound waveform which is dependent on the material through which it is produced. The following are the sound timbre of different sources. Timbre, any sound consists of more than one frequency, and most of these additional frequencies are known as harmonics. For a sound to possess timbre, it must have one fundamental frequency and seven or more additional harmonics. The following are the characteristics of timbre. Dull, cold, rich, delicate, thick, thin, heavy, clean, nasal, and light. Noise is a sound wave that is distorted and not pleasing to the senses. <music> 